Hi people, Ray Townsend here, oh, Charlie Tango 1, or whatever you want to call me. Not, not that though, you don't call me that. Uh, this is just like a part to um, a review over the, over this um, uh, Ray's uh, Learberg collar. Um, I've been thinking about this and looking at it. I'm just, I've got I've all the bits and pieces, the metal work, etc. Because um, it's something that obviously I don't have that in, that particular stuff in stock. But um, while it's in my head, the first thing um, I mentioned on the previous video about this um, long lines. Um, some people want in a, a handle and some people not. Um, as I said, my preference is not to have a handle for obvious reasons which I explained on the previous video. Um, so if you do order one from me at some stage down the line, um, please state whether you want a handle or not on it. Um, it saves me contacting you again, um, you know, to ask the question. Um, right, so these, these little um, collars, these Learbird collars, that's what I'm calling him, Ray's Learbird Collar. <laughs> um, so we're not what we're on about. Now, um, I've got, oh they're indoors, the little short handles. They're not very long. Um, the leather works, they're only about 18 inches long. At times I've folded it over and put the loop in, they come out uh, at about, uh, what are we looking at, 8 inches, something like that. Because you, you only want a short, grab handle uh, if you're teaching the dog over this aggressiveness or whatever you want to call it, or dominance um, I think that's what it's more, more to the point it's more of dominance than aggression um, but as I say Chris has yet to um, to try them out yet um, and give me the feedback on it um, but just in case Chris you're having a job to uh, you know, come across one of these aggressive dogs or dominant dogs, perhaps you could be. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> perhaps you. <laughs> I know you're going to love this. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Oh, get it, Emma. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, sorry about that, people. <laughs> oh, God, it made me cry. Look, Chris. <laughs> I'm all dizzy now. <laughs> Chris, give Peter Kane a call. <laughs> he might have an aggressive dog. <laughs> yeah, it's said now. Said. Uh, oh, now I can say it properly because I've got it out of my chest. <laughs> Peter K might have a, a, a dominant dog that you might be able to borrow. <laughs> so, um, right, now, uh, oh dear, I forgot my train of thought. Oh, yeah, go back to this collar. <coughs> now, <coughs> um, I use, oh, going off the subject here, yeah. alright, I use, this is what I use as opposed to this. Excuse my back. That's that's one one trigger clip I use, and this is the other one. That one's there, and that one's there. Now that's half inch that one, and this one's uh, five eight. No, this is five eight. That's five eight. This is half inch. Now I can still get. That leather, I've got a bit of leather here before I do it actually. That's still going to go on there. See, look, no problem, it's still going to go on there. No problem at all, and bend over. 
So my idea is that I'm going to be using this this smaller one because this this smaller one is um, because it's on on the collar and it's going to be there all the time. You don't want a bulky thing there, do you? You know, of course. I mean, when you clip these on to this ring, when you clip them on to the ring, you want to just make sure that. Um, I always rotate when trying to do it, so that you got got it on that way. So that, so that the collar goes round there like like this, and that trigger clip is upright, so it's not going to be digging into the dog's neck. If it was the other way round, it'd be digging into the back of its neck. Um, and I don't think I'm going to go with the half with the one inch ring. Because it's not for getting your finger in there to grab hold of it. All it's for is to put the short handled um, lead on it. That's all. It's it's not really there. You're not going to be holding this with your finger trying to control a, a dominant dog. You you know it's uh, you're not just not going to win with it. So I'm going to stick with this, which I believe is a, a three quarter, um, which I think is quite adequate. Um, for for what it wants because you'll have that on uh, both ends of the lead and you'll have it running along the collar sorry both ends running on the collar and this one running on the collar so that's what I'm going to be going with now um, and I'll make another another one up and some short uh, leads to that, that will you know go with it now something I didn't mention I'm trying to get hold of these I've run out of these these are the um, these are smaller than the standard one the standard one is a three-quarter um, for springers and, that, and the like but I've used a couple now of this one uh, which is a 5.8 for for the cockers it's which is a slightly thinner lead um, for that reason because it's a cocker a lot of cockers are small and at times you've got uh, quite a bit of lead on there three quarters of an inch wide and this it's quite a bit to drag around for a little cocker so that's what I'll go down with here I've I have got some stainless steel ones of these trigger clips but I can't get the square end um, and I can't seem to get them smaller than that because they're in stainless steel which to me I've always liked stainless steel because you don't have that worry um, uh, with, with the uh, bright electrolytes nickel plating over years starting to flake off um, which they do but as I said on the other video by then you, you've had a good innings of, uh, of the, the, the trigger clip so I, I'm going to be trying to, trying to get on with that I've just come in here to do this brief bit, video while I'm waiting for my dinner Sunday and um, and we're going to see how we go with that um, I don't think I've got I've got some orders now to do um, long lines um, and some training leads and these other little short uh, dominant Le Leobergs I, I want to knock about three or four of them out to send down to Chris because that the size for the neck is crucial as I've said in the other video um, it's it, you have to measure it right under the dog's um, as I was, right under his chin and just under his ears around the back so, so that when it when you do put it on you shouldn't be able to slip it over his head uh, if you can it's going to be too slack you've got to literally physically get hold of the ring one end the trigger clip the other Put it under his chin and round his neck, and clip it on. And you, sh you shouldn't be able to get your finger underneath the collar when it's on. It, yes, it is a tight fit. That's how. That's the idea of it. If it's slack, it will just slide down. So, which is again defeating the object. The idea is it stays up there. So, if push comes to shove, you can quickly put that short lead on it and control it. Get back, you know, get back control of, of the dominant dog. Um, that's it. I'm not going to go any further. Sorry about the laugh. 
I just couldn't stop, you know, I, I knew what was coming next, see. I'll catch you all on the next one, you take care now. Ta-da for now.